Hello and welcome to Sonoma in C Open. We have a full house here today. Um, it's not a single split like I'm usually stuck in. <laughs> it's actually, uh, I was off work today, so actually. I mean, it was only about, I don't know, 40 people or so maybe signed up, but at least it's split. And uh, we've also got Jeremy Freer in here member of uh, Gavin's community and therefore Discord channel. Thank you to him for inspiring me. Uh oh, did he send something accidentally not a PM? Um, did he send some... Oh, what did I say? What was I saying? <laughs> oh yeah, he inspired me to get off my butt and do this. <laughs> See, open race. So, uh, hopefully he has a good run as well. Uh, I'll have to see what he said here in a moment, after qualifying. But, I am not all too great here. I actually did a practice race, quote unquote, last night. There were nine people signed up, and only three people actually finished the race. <laughs> I finished second, but the guy ahead of me was like 20 seconds ahead, and the guy behind me was about 20 seconds behind. So I don't know where I actually stand in a larger group. Probably not too good. I'm only I'm Great running flag. about Great 120s flag. with the occasional 119. It's kind of where I am right now. Okay, here comes the first time black. So I know it could be better. But it could be worse too, I guess. Sonoma's never been my greatest track. Especially when I do this. Whoa! <laughs> I tried shifting there to see how it would work, but it's not uh, the best idea, I don't think. Yeah, I'm kind of all over the place this lap. So I should probably just try to settle in and do a solid lap instead of trying to push it too hard and end up actually going slower than I would otherwise. But Whew. it's it's gonna be hard to say too much to be honest with you, because this is just basically a workout <laughs> on the wheel here. Very intense. I'm not sure where this is going to bring me. 119.1, that's about as good as I've ever done, so... Hey, that's good with me. And I feel like I made some mistakes that lap, too, so... Maybe we can improve here, we'll see. Actually can feel free to push a little harder, even, because... Now that I have a lap logged... I don't have to worry about not getting a lap done at all. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. The commentary is probably going to be pretty scarce this this time around. I'm sorry. Going to be completely occupied pretty much the whole time. I don't think this lap's going to be any better, to be honest with you. I think the last uh, lap I did there was about as good as it's going to get. But uh, I just hope that I'll be able to make it to the end. I made it to the end in the quote-unquote practice race. <laughs> I made one mistake in the uh, practice race. Where I uh, shifted down too early into second into the final hairpin and got sideways, but that was the only thing that happened to me, and now I'll be watching out for it. My time is not good, <laughs> apparently. One, I'm in 12th, so. Set you running. It was a PM. Uh, what do I have? I have, oops. Um, majors. Uh, 
Fudge. Base line set. Yeah, so I got the Major's Garage set, just the baseline. So it's ours doesn't have anything because it's week 13. I think they take a break. Uh, during the race, I'm going to be much easier in my rear tires. I have a habit of burning them off, so. Um, not the worst time, but pretty darn close to it. <laughs> You don't want to get stuck too far back, so I, I wanted to qualify for sure, because there's obviously no cautions on road racing. Is it better than the iRacing open set? Probably not much different, to be honest. But I haven't tried iRacing. Uh oh, he messed up the <laughs> reply thing. Again. Although that's the first time I've seen him do it. Yeah, it's probably just some minor changes to the uh, baseline plus thing they got going on. Nothing too crazy, so I wouldn't even really expect it to be much different. There is a spider on my monitor. I'm going to need to repair that before the race starts. Pardon me. Yeah, that's... I feel like that's a bad omen. If you're getting spiders crawling on your monitor. It's like a doom foretelling. <laughs> but uh, no more spider. I normally don't like killing them if I don't have to, but he was kind of like directly in my eyesight, and that's just going to be a distraction. So, uh, yeah, 15. Well, yeah, I don't know where these got how these guys are doing that. I really don't. Like, I feel like I'm going right on the edge the whole time, and I'm still several seconds off. So, I'm not quite uh, not picking this up quite as well. As uh, I felt like I did at Circuit of the Americas, I really liked that track, but I've always been pretty, kind of bad at Sonoma, to be honest. <laughs> He's still struggling with the uh, reply. Yeah, I think my best is a 19.7. Also, he's going to be right about our speed, because I, I definitely can't hit 19 ones consistently. So I'm probably going to be around the 120s most of the time. So, Oops, I forgot to say good luck. Lap to green. Line up on the left side. Pit road is closed right now. Ah, uh, shoot. How do you do it from here? Oh no, slash. I don't know how to do. Wait, I can right click it. Right? Ah! Oh well. <laughs> I, I don't normally talk to people that much, so I don't. Oh, there he goes. Number 23, he's number 23. Good luck! I did it! <laughs> so we've accomplished that. Let's try to accomplish staying on the track now. How about that? You uh, apparently do not need to pit at any point, but don't tell anyone. Because if they want to pit thinking they need to pit on lap 12 or something, let them, because I need all the spots I can get. <laughs> at least, uh, hopefully... Jeremy doesn't think you have to. I'm sure you. I'm sure he knows you don't have to. But if anyone in here accidentally does, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm expecting the start to be a little, little scary. I ended up fifteenth. Yikes! I'm not very fast. There are hmm. Yeah, I've gotten all my road eye rating through non-stock car road racing means, and I'm not sure how much translates. Not very much, apparently. 
Like I, I do all, I get all my road eye rating well, through stuff zero. with the Mazda, the USF 2000, Formula V I like running. All quite different from driving a truck in the vineyards of California. <laughs> so, doesn't translate all too well, but I feel like I can keep it on the track at least. Maybe that's what my problem is. I probably don't push hard enough, but don't want to drive over my head because once I start doing that, I'm going to finish even worse. I mean, I'm not alone. Apparently the number one ranked guy in here is just ahead of me. So... Guessing the uh, road I rating doesn't perfectly translate. It's basically its own discipline, or it might as well be. Pace car goes like a million miles an hour around here. I noticed that in the little nine truck race I did. I'm kind of worried driving side by side through here. Like I know I can hold on my side, but I don't know if I'm going to get all the room I need on the other side of the track, so I'm driving nervous already. It's probably not a good thing. Probably good to get all the nervousness out of my brain. Because you said the numb though. I'm going to be like in this hairpin. Gross. It's a long one. I'm going to be mega chilling. That's okay. Hey, in. Make a I think everybody should be. You make a good point. Have to take it a little easier as everyone's stacked on ch each other. Watch for contact. I miss having the Mazda's brake lights so I know when guys are hitting the brakes. That's a funny little thing that we're missing out on. Remember to be easy on the throttle. Oh, my latency is awful. I need this internet to get its act together. I hate it. I'm worried about that, so I'm not worried about driving. I hate this internet so much. It's ruined several races for me already. I don't even know where I am. I need to just back out because I don't know where I am. This is unbelievably frustrating. <sighs> hate that so much. So I lose several spots from that. E17. Frustrating. Alright. Well, we should be taking it easy anyway. It's still early. And easy on the throttle, like I should be. That up. Should have been up the whole time. Don't use first gear at all through here. It might be useful and faster, but I don't need any extra reason to burn up my tires anyway. The uh, internet doesn't continue being a problem anymore. The leader's just done a 115.8. Couple guys go wide. I go a little bit wide.
settling in here. Got some space now. Helps having guys in front of you too to kind of judge your speed off of. It's always nice. Uh oh, 16 having trouble. Might need to get past him at some point. Alright. Not expecting a good finish here, especially because I lost a bunch of precious time dealing with internet problems, so... That's great. Here's a place on the track where it gets really light if you get on the gas too hard, so you've got to be careful there. Oh, 16's off-roading. Ooh, a little bit sideways there. Okay. You never seem to get going after that corner. I don't know if people are maybe in first gear or if I'm just not aggressive enough on the throttle. I can never seem to get it figured out. I just don't think I'm brave enough for these corners or something. So I feel like I'm always underdriving a bunch of stuff. And then trying not to make up for it by smashing on the throttle too hard. And it's just never a good idea. It's not a good combo. So it's probably need a lot more practice. It's really uh, the gist of it. The practice race yesterday helped a lot, but still could use a lot more. A lot more help. <laughs> I feel like I go faster when I shift there, but it's also harder to control. So, give and take right there, I guess. Yellow flag. Yellow flag, we got an accident. Actually, it's pretty interesting. We haven't seen hardly any accidents so far. People have been doing pretty well, I guess. Or who it was, maybe. Is that what it was referring to? That seems like it was pretty far off for them to be talking about that accident. And I'm not sure we're even going to gain anything from it. Looks like they might have gotten going. Alright, Colton, keep it nice and smooth. Come on, let the race come to us. V16, that lap was a 119.0. You got a uh oh, the guys got together there. Come on, man. Round safely, hopefully. Clear on the left. That's a setup shop guy that's always wrecking people. And that number four. I recognize that name. People leaving, so three spots, I guess. Set up job guy decides wants to dive it in because he has no respect left. for anybody. Clear on the right. Not surprised. On, he goes. He wrecks someone else. 
Only speaking on what I've seen from him, that's all. Just have to adjust my driving style based on what I know about people, and that's what I know about him, so I'm not going to give... I'm going to give 110% room, because you might not survive otherwise. Just have to be aware of who's around you. Like, I believe that 12 was the guy, wasn't he? That said at the start he was going to be taking a mega... Ooh! Mega easy! Left side. Still there, hold your line. Oh. Stay on the right. Clear on I the tried left. first gear there and that did not work. <laughs> I thought I was going to be extra slow so I would need the extra oomph. Getting through there, but... Did not work out. Yeah, this place is just a struggle for me. I'm just gonna have to hope I uh, get some freebies, I think. Or just spin it. How did I not hit anything? I was not in control of the car for like three fourths of that corner. I had my wheel like upside down. <laughs> Well, leave it to me to say, oh, just gotta take it easy and get freebies, and then immediately almost crash. That's how you do it. Gotta be aware that that probably did not help the tires, too, so. Be easy on those for a second. Easy on those things. Just little rubber things on the bottom of the car. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to just start saying the opposite of what I need to do. I'm going to go really hard right now. Push, like, super hard. And then, uh... Probably crash. That's what I'm going to do. See, now I'm going to do the opposite, hopefully. That's what I... am expecting to happen. As you can see, I, I, I am struggling. I feel like I'm right around the guys that are about my same speed, though. Like I said, I'm just... I've gotten all my road eye rating from other series, and I need more experience in the stock car racing on road courses. I think uh, Survey of the Americas might have been a fluky deal. In fact, I was able to pick, on that, pick up on that one pretty quickly. Uh oh, we got someone off up there, but it looks like they're probably gonna get going before we get there. You got a slow car on the left. Or not? Are they damaged? It's a lap car. Man, that's not even a free spot. Now there's just a guy in my way. Guy in my way, crashing. Get, please move. Why would you not pull over if you're lap down? Out of the way. Like, what is the issue? You're not racing anybody. Gosh. I went and got the outside wall, I think. I turn my wheel enough, like the steering wheel. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm not even like turning very much because I'm used to like saving tires on ovals. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe I should be cranking the wheel more. I find myself doing that in Mazda sometimes. Like I'll be doing a Mazda race and I'm like, man, I just can't get the turn in and here and I realize that I'm like barely turning the wheel because I'm used to like using the throttle and the brakes to get rotated. On ovals, and well, you 
I kind of have to turn the wheel sometimes. Yeah, that's something I need to think about. I feel like we're probably where we're supposed to be, though. Even though I lost those spots earlier, it's clear they're driving away from me. It's not like I was faster than them, regardless. Man, I wish I could hit my optimal every lap in 118.4. Dang, if I were good, I could probably hit that, because I would be hitting my optimal corners every lap. <laughs> Imagine that. Meanwhile, guys are getting 115s. I don't even know. I don't even understand how that's possible. That blows my mind. Taking shortcuts. They're taking Mario Kart shortcuts. I'm doing my best though. This is certainly exciting even if I'm not around anyone. I hope anyone viewing feels the same way. I mean, it's a, a handful just driving this thing around here. Grow that. A little bit, kind of brought it back. Uh oh, we're gonna get lapped before the end of this one. Uh oh, that's a weird place for a red car to be. And it is the. Oh, that is. No, that's a real person. <laughs> I was going to say that's a lap car again, but the lap car was in the pits. So that was a spot. We got ourselves a free spot. How about that? And I need some more of those if I want to not lose copious amounts of high rating by the end of this one. That was a pretty good field, I think. Pretty solid, so probably won't be too bad. Plus, who cares anyway? If I'm slow enough to be back here, it's what I deserve, right? So, what's the problem? Why did I slide to the left when I hit the brakes? That was weird. I guess the tires were hot and I did not like that sequence of events. So there's still plenty of people out on track, plenty of people that could run into each other, especially as the thing gets closer to the end and desperation starts going up. You never know, you can get people sent off. It'll just be my job to stay on track and try to remain somewhat competitive, relatively. So we're not competitive to that 13, I can tell you that, because they are approaching. But somewhat competitive, so that way we can take advantage if anyone goes off course far enough. That's the hope. The answer, Perez behind is now 16 seconds. The internet doesn't pose any more problems. Not like that. Couldn't have waited when I was like not around anybody to do that. It had to be whenever I was like around five people. And I had to be very careful because I knew they couldn't see where I was, probably. That was very scary. Definitely feel the tires wearing out. Well, people jump out on the mic for a second. Usually that's a thank you. That's what I've learned. When people just jump on the mic and don't say anything, so they're probably just getting let by by lap trucks and stuff. But I always expect someone to be like, oh, come on, and then you see a, a spot you get free spot on your horizon. <laughs> Got a thanks. Was it a sarcastic thanks? I should focus on driving instead of trying to focus on getting freebies. How about I earn my spots? What a concept. I just don't think it's happening. I don't think I'm catching anyone. Unless they make a mistake, so. Left truck coming up here.
I've fallen off. I guess it's the tires. Unless it's my fatigue. But it, it definitely feels less grippy, and I'm assuming that's why my lap, lap times are so far off now. Sorry about that, Brian. Oh, oh wow, 4 wrecked someone else. Can you imagine that? That's what I'm saying. You just know what I know, and I know that that has not happened, or that has not been the first time I've seen that happen. Not even this race. Is that you that got into me going over that hill a couple laps ago? Okay, no, weird place to let me go, but okay, thank uh, you. There was car-to-car -car contact there, but I wouldn't categorize it as me that got into you. <laughs> I mean, I was trying to stay track. <laughs> I should stop I'm being recorded right now. Right. This is the stuff I do to myself. I laugh at myself, but... Uh, okay. Focus on driving. Focus on driving. That is another free spot we got, and oh, it looks like the Ford did not even lose spots, so I guess he just turned someone. Thirteen seconds back, the number six, so... He might be able to catch us. Not sure though. He didn't seem like he was too crazy faster than we are, so he might not be able to catch us. Unlike the leader's gonna catch us. Got ten left to go. Right, we'll see. Fun though. I do enjoy road course racing and stock cars, even if I'm not always great at it. It's pretty fun. It's a really good challenge. You can always guarantee it'll be a challenge. That's for sure. Never a walk in the park. Or drive in the park. Or anything else you do in a park. We catching this guy ahead? Love it. I haven't really been paying attention to the uh, distance, but... 3.1, maybe I should start looking. Short shift there. Start to get that tire spin. Hard, but too bad. Yeah, Jane, I'm gonna have to check the replay on that one going over the hill. Copy that. I mean, I'm not even mad or anything. My race was not going great, but I wasn't trying to wreck you. I appreciate that. Thing goes deep. We are catching the guy ahead. Cool. I wonder if they burned off their tires or something. Oh my gosh, imagine it. Passing someone based on something that's not just a mistake. That would help me feel a lot better about myself and my not so fast speed. I gained him very fast though. Doesn't look like. So we might not be able to get there by the end of it, but I'm gonna try. We got something to look forward to now. We got something to reach for. I feel like the hills mess with my brain a little bit. Maybe that's 
why this is giving me a little bit more trouble than Coda, because Coda didn't really have too many hills and stuff to deal with. Really don't know how to handle like these elevation changes as well. Maybe that's part of what's giving me trouble. With that the car reacts in those situations. Or I just need more practice. I feel like I'm trying to come up with a solution whenever the simplest thing is the most uh, obvious answer. Most likely answer. That is I just need practice. Off there. Oh, we lost some ground now. Not what I like to see. The one car's still only two spots ahead of me, so. They didn't make any grand gains of speed or anything. Oh, the leader's right behind me. I better watch out for that. Be ready to let them go. Hopefully they catch me in a spot where I can let them go and not lose much time. Blue flag, flag would have let me know, though, if I hadn't noticed. Ooh. Well, I got loose, so now's I got to stop you at this corner, James. <laughs> oh, that's a topic, too. I'm trying to get loose, I guess. If I'm gonna. Sorry about that, buddy. Oh, sorry about that, he says. Are you, though? Because yeah, I feel like you wouldn't right keep here. making the same mistakes if you were actually sorry. Maybe that's just me. I didn't see what happened. It's just starting to wear off. I didn't hear what they were saying. Might not even be related to someone wrecking someone. But I just feel like being a jerk. Because I'm stressed right now. <laughs> Isn't that how it is? Like, road rage is such a big deal. Because you're doing something very stressful and potentially dangerous. So you get spicier than you normally would be. Ooh. I need to be easier on the throttle. By or no, I just went wide. Point eight to the guy behind us. Truck needs to get away. Car right. Clear on the right. I had shift. Because I was in a different situation there. That's why. <laughs> Alright, so, five laps to go, coming up. We are in 14th. Five. Five to go. Be worse? And behind us catching up on the lead lap, so we're going to have to watch out for them. Here's the blue flag. Oh no, James. Okay, they're second behind. They are battling too. I need to get out of the way. I'll be on the right. Ugh. I was late to do it, but I didn't expect them to be that much faster. Though I probably should have been. They were battling hard, so I knew I had to get out of the way and quick. So they were not going to wait for me. 
Oh, the four left. Did I pass him at some point? I don't even know. Clearly, I must have. Unless I just now passed him. Oh, I just now passed him. wonder if he ends it in and out or something. So that's one more spot. Hey! Alright. there. I really got that nice helpful hill to help me turn. Could have used it in that corner because I didn't turn as much as I needed to there. Thankfully I don't know if we'll have to let anyone else by unless I make mistakes here for the end of this one because we just got a lap car behind that we are pulling away from and then 9.6 back to the fourth place guy so I don't think they'll be able to reach us. Ooh, almost shipped it too early there. That was almost a repeat of what I did in the practice race that I didn't record. Honestly, not feeling all too bad about this in the end. I'm not very fast, but I've been able to pass guys that have been crashing and stuff. Or being crashed. Or being off the course, Jared! That's Jeremy. He was just getting out of the way. He did it on purpose. He's so kind. He gave the entire surface of the racetrack to let me by. I see you, and I appreciate you. <laughs> it was no mistake. It was calculated. My calculations are running at a third grade level here. Third grade math level. <laughs> when it comes to this tr track combo. So I'm not doing so good, but I've been pretty fortunate so far and been able to stay on the track. So don't look too much there. One more lap. We only have to do 24 laps because uh, we got lapped. Forgot about that. One flag, one more lap. Tell you what though, this is going to be a great race for my road safety rating because most of the road races I do are like sprints and so if I get incidents in those it's really hard to build my safety rating up. Here a nice 24 lap race. I'm not going to mention how many incident points I've gotten yet, because it's not over. And typically when I mention things like that, I go off course, so I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to mention anything like that. We just need to pull it to the end. get what looks like will be 13th place. Thought we might be able to catch the 16 there for a brief bent minute. I don't know what a Bennett is. Brief minute though, I thought we were going to be able to catch that one. Um, almost spin it on the final corner because why not. But we will get home. Alright. 0x! I did it! I feel like that flag. almost confirms that I'm just not Bring pushing hard enough or something, but going. I guess I'd prefer to, uh, prefer to do that. We'll do a couple extra corners, because these still count, for uh, safety rating, until everybody finishes. So we got the remaining up there, we got one minute one. And once that timer is no more then the uh, safety rating no longer counts but for now all these corners I'm doing are counting in case you didn't know that 
because you made corners that were safe. Makes sense to me. There it goes. Resets. Pull over. Looks like a couple other guys were doing that too. All right, so P13. Apparently, only a couple spots behind me. To do still in there. I guess I'm okay with that. We moved forward. I knew I wasn't going to be all crazy fast or anything. So 95, 86, definitely lighten up the rears. I did better than I did in uh, my previous attempt, but still probably need to be more gradual with the throttle. But 0x, moved forward from where we started. I'm, I'm okay with that. Be a couple of people, or at least one person that has a higher I rating, and then a couple of people that have similar I ratings to me, so I'm feeling okay. All right, so let's uh, see the incident, accident, oopsie doopsies. Whoa, I got an 18.8. That's easily my best lap, except it's not going to show up because uh, I don't think it logs for the race sessions or whatever. Hey, I got in the 18s for the first time. See, look, that's progress right there. Proof. Let's get a good camera. I'm not too big on that camera. All right, and let's see what happened. Yeah, lap three, that's very similar to what I did in the practice race when I did make my one mistake, except I was not that unlucky to where I perched myself on the tires. Oh, look, that reminded me of uh, that crash Tony Stewart was in, I think when he got paid back by I don't remember who. <laughs> he ended up perched on the tires, except in a different spot of this corner. 19 have more trouble in that same corner, no less. 10 loses it just on the gas a little hard. That was a freebie because that guy was definitely going to finish ahead of us. Hey, wait a second. Mellow Mushroom? That's where I work. <laughs> I work at a Mellow Mushroom. That's funny. I think he needed to be more mellow on the throttle a couple of times. It's the four spinning out. So he didn't take anyone out there. Uh, did a 360 and go. Yes, we saw it. Thank you. Ooh, scary. I say racing. They somehow don't take each other out. Oh, until they did. What's going on here? Where's this guy? Oh, it's the four. Did he have a slowdown? Is he? Broken? What's going on? He had to get rid of a slowdown? Because he was in the infield part? And I don't know if the 18 just is not paying attention to the situation, or if he was trying to like pinch him behind on purpose. But he sees this guy slow, I imagine. And it looks like he's like purposely trying to pinch him behind, which is... A little bit dirty. But the 12 was not having it. He's like, I'm moving over whether you're going to let me over or not. Well, I guess the 12's the one that paid for it. Interesting situation. That same spot getting some people. I guess it just can snap on you right there. I've never had that happen to me personally, but maybe it's because I'm just not getting on the gas hard enough. Oh yeah, here's me being dumb. That could have been my chance to get around him, but... <laughs> Just, I got it up too hard. I have a bad habit. Doing it. It's because uh, this time was because I got into first gear, though, because I thought, man, I'm going to be extra slow down here. I might need the extra... extra bit, but nah. It certainly didn't work. Oh well, they were faster than me anyway, I think. That was just prediction code thinking they were going to hit some wall. Little mushroom having more trouble. Oh, man. Yeah, their rears must have been surface of the sun hot. 
and this is why. They went in too hard into the final corner. These tires are the temperature of the sun right now, and they slam on the gas, and this is what happens. Oh boy. Then I think they gave up from there. Just had to call it a race. Oh wow. Okay, I remember seeing that guy right here. I'm surprised he actually just straight up spun right there though. That's a weird space to kind of spin out, I feel like. Of all the places on the track. Yeah, just pull uh, to the left. It's his front end twice. <clears throat> Interesting. Another free spot I wouldn't have got otherwise. He decides to just tow it. And there goes the four. He tried to say, oh, that was car to car contact. Now he just turned over to the left. Like, first of all, he comes up and hits the six. In a lot of space over there. And then he just comes up and drives into him and turns himself. So, not sure what that's about. But that's not on anyone but you. Ooh, leader going past Jeremy. Whoa, that was close. I got scary for a second. <clears throat> that is Jeremy, right? Yes. Kind of a weird spot. Yeah, it's, it's tough. So you got the leader coming real fast. Maybe the thing would have been to come over here, but I mean, it's so easy to not realize how fast they're approaching you. And then... Yeah, they, they worked it out. Leader didn't lose too much. They still went on to win, so... Not a big deal. Plus, I imagine he's got some people around him, too, doesn't he? Somewhere? I don't know. Can't just, uh, stop it. <laughs> and then what? The four is intentionally wrecking him for something he did to himself. Are you kidding me? That's absolutely intentional. I don't care if he denies it, that's intentional. There's no way you do that on accident. After the first hit, the normal person thing to do is to back off and be like, oops, I hit the guy, I'm glad I didn't turn him. But instead what he does is he continues gassing it up because his intent was to hit his right rear and spin him out. Because he thinks that it was the other guy's fault before. As far as I'm concerned, that's what happened. That's pretty... that's pretty trash. <laughs> Go uh, buy from his setup shop, though. Good advertisement. So, the 11. Oof! It's the tires on the inside. That's easy to do. I'm trying to get it to as close to the inside as possible. Oh no, Jeremy. Yep. Again, looked exactly like what happened to me in my practice race. Just shifting a little early and it just like pokes off to the side. What happened to me though in my race is I was able to dodge this one, but I like kind of hit this one. And it looked similar, but I got less damage, thankfully, and I was able to keep going. Still got second in that race, but like I said before, that race only had nine people, and all but three ended up giving up. So, And the four wrecks himself, so a lot of good that uh, intentionally wrecking that guy did. Not 24... Onto the white flag, but he might have been a lap down. No, it doesn't look like it. So that was, that was still part of the race. <laughs> That's interesting. Guy ahead of me that I was trying to chase down. And I 
still didn't catch them, huh? Yeah, they were faster. Even when they're making mistakes, they were still faster, so. And then now it is after the race. And the number two is taking the Mario Kart shortcut. <laughs> That's where those guys are getting those 115s. I knew it. <laughs> That's funny. Is this like the drag strip? <laughs> That's funny. I never even really paid attention to this. How far does it let you go? You just fall into the abyss eventually, or... Oh no, this is part of like the other course. Man, nice barrel roll. That was nice. The damage is less nice, but... You know, you paid off. And the 13 gets the win. They got the stock car truck racing on the road course figured out. And that is it, so... Um, I didn't expect too much, so I'm actually pretty happy with that, just being able to keep it on the track and uh, not make any major mistakes, keep it at a 0x. I can feel pretty good about that. Uh, we didn't get 12x. I mean, look at that. More than double the next highest person, and the other person that's next highest got several of those because of you. So, I'm going to shut my mouth, but I feel like the driving says enough. On its own, but let's focus on my race. We got 13th, moved forward, kept it clean, and had a fun time. Always fun to do. Like I said, it's a nice challenge. So, thanks for watching. Um, good racing with Jeremy. Just finished a couple spots ahead of him. So, uh, I don't know. That's about it. That's all I got for you. See you next time.